Hey everybody, welcome to episode 14 of Crack TV, where Siga Whiffer bubbly jerk in no time. Look, we gotta get moving, because today we're breaking the world's record for longest list on a web show hosted by a robot for Cracked. Isn't that right, Clippy? And we're just going to stick them in for about seven to eight minutes. Damn it, I said there's no time. Look, just do the thing with the breaking and the The 12 lamest world record attempts of all time. And go. First up, the most martial arts kicks in one minute. It's like a Jackie Chan movie come to life. Except if Jackie Chan injected himself with horse tranquilizers before every take and his enemy was a flag. And hey, what's the sound of a martial arts master masturbating? Oh yeah, that's good. Just the toes. Just the toes. What's the least amount of physical movement you can do and still be a world record holder? If you answered sit perfectly motionless, you're close. It's the fastest text message ever sent. Tragically, not only did he fail to break the record, he was texting his doctor at the time. The reply? Ah, oh, that's the worst kind, too. Jimmy Skold is going to be trying to beat his own Guinness World Record tonight for the most hot dog swallowed whole in one minute. Yeah, that's... There you go. As you can imagine, a series of the best things ever said on TV soon followed. Please get into position. Oh my. That did not look comfortable. That's going straight down. Five slippery suckers straight down the back of the throat. The only down note was this unfortunate comment from the host. We urge our audience never to try anything like this ever. Hey, keep your homophobia to yourself, guy. This German football player broke a world record by running through ten panes of safety glass in one minute. First of all, I break that record almost every episode. And secondly, while his method is admittedly harder, it's still just basically running with some stopping thrown in. And come on, goggles, masks, helmets, the German Ryan Seacrest to inspire you to a blinding rage? When you're ready to do it naked, then we'll talk. Speaking of... We're going to get thrown around a lot, the G-force is going to be incredible, and there's going to be bits and pieces of everybody flying around everywhere. Nope, she's not talking about Tuesday night at my house. She's talking about setting the world record for the most naked people on a roller coaster. 32 British naturists helped set the record, simultaneously setting records for the most women with stars for nipples, most balls crushed against a filthy, sweaty, plastic saddle, and worst album cover ever. Maybe my total lack of a childhood has blinded me to a perfectly normal part of human behavior. Maybe at picnics, sleepovers, and summer camps across the globe, it's a matter of course to see how many eggs you can crush in 30 seconds with your toes. And the fact that three hot senoritas happen to be the best in the world at egg crushing is just salsa on the tapas. Wow, that's one extremely creepy video. Get it? Because it's disturbing. Er, wait. For some reason, the Swedish version of the show tends to focus on records so specific, there's a good chance no one's ever tried them before. I guess it goes with the whole neutrality thing. Here, the host discusses this boxer's detailed strategy for punching 10 TVs. Then he punches 10 TVs. Then they replay him punching the TVs. Then they replay it, but sped up. And then they give him some flowers. You suck, Sweden. Back to eating, this time a raw onion. It's unpleasant, it's middle school dare-worthy, and normally it'd just be a run-of-the-mill world record attempt. But then this happened. He's struggling to hold it in. The supreme effort this guy puts into eating an onion is only highlighted by the fact that his competitor quits after about 10 seconds and a single bite. And while neither of them broke the record, there is some onion left on his collar, so I'm afraid I have to disqualify. Oh. They did teach us all a valuable lesson. Always check the collar. That's where the onion hides. See? Sweden again, this time snapping bananas in half. A feat so seemingly easy, they included a segment showing old people failing to do it to prove how hard it is. Which, to be fair, you could do with just about any activity. Burn, old people! On the plus side, Guinness has apparently found a way to broadcast the athlete's inner monologue. Snap! Snap! Sna Ooh! How far would you go in the name of irony? Would you buy a t-shirt for a band you hate? See a movie you didn't like? Eat at Arby's? Well, you're not beating these 70 people who ruin perfectly good irons and wasted hours to iron clothes they clearly don't intend to wear. And all the while, some kid in Indonesia's ironing 400 shirts a day to try and support his whole family. But is that gonna stop you watching? Life is all about context. Here's a guy who can drink a liter of what looks like silt in about five seconds. Do that at a party almost anywhere else in the world, and I guarantee you no one's talking to you for the rest of the night. But do it on a Guinness stage in Japan, and they treat you like Prince fucking Ashitaka. Ultimate power good. I fear his mind. Oh, forget mind. about it. And then the man in black simply left to rock other faces, master other universes, drink other bottles of milky shit. Some say he was a king. Some say he was a god. They were both right. 
Believe it or not, one of the most hotly contested world records on the web is how many times you can kick yourself in the head. It's been broken and rebroken, presumably because the type of person who wants to be famous for doing that has little regard for their own head. Tragically, none have successfully kicked themselves into a vegetative state. All we can do is pray. And time! How'd I do? Did I do it? Did I beat the record? If you use a spoonula, then you can use it for both stirring things and for scraping the bowl. I will take that as a yes, hell yeah! Best in the world, baby. And remember, if you want to help me pick next week's topic, you will bring me the orbs of power. I've been the best host droid ever, and to play us out, here's the best song ever.